Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on applying for scholarships on the Common Scholarship Portal. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the video. So to apply for scholarships under different scream, first the candidate need to follow certain process. The first step will be registration. And to do so, the applicants will have to visit the scholarship portal. And for this, the link is attached in the video description or it has been displayed on the screen. After that, you need to create an account. And if you are a new user, you need to click on register option. And then you need to provide your mobile number that is linked with your Aadhaar to get an OTP. And then only the registration process will be done by verifying your mobile number. So once mobile is verified, few information such as your name, email address, and password you need to create. After that, you need to click on register. So that will be for the registration. And then once you are done with that, you need to click on login. To do so, you need to login into your account by entering the credentials you have created during the registration process. So once you are done with the login, then you need to fill up your profile that is your personal details and in the personal details which is step 3 you need to provide some information that will be your name date of birth gender category which category you belong and the bank account details and few other informations so once you are done with this on the step 4 what you have to do is you need to apply for a scholarship so for that you need to select your scholarship scheme so these are the scholarship schemes that are presently active so based on your eligibility you can select to which scheme you want to apply so once you are done with the selection of your scholarship scheme then you need to select the institutions where you are pursuing your degree the institution name district and so and so forth under that you need to also provide some information based on your academic performance that is your educational background your college or school name course year of study etc then you proceed with uploading of your documents and in this section you need to upload documents based on the requirement which will be your passport size photograph mark sheets or certificates category certificate income certificate Aadhaar card front page of your bank passbook which will be consisting of your name account number and IFSC code so after uploading your documents you need to proceed by reviewing your application which will be consisting all the information that you have entered and the documents that you have uploaded so once you are done with that you need to click on the submit button after the submission you need to track your application time after time and to do that you need to enter your application id to check your application status so these are some few steps which you need to keep in mind before you proceed with the online submission here are some few informations as well. In case there are any errors that is found during the submission, please delete the application and resubmit. So if you have done any mistakes, you can delete the application and then you can resubmit. This point, I want to make sure to all the students that you do not forget and then you can do resubmission in this academic session. And there is another point. If you have received scholarship in the previous year, kindly select yes and provide previous year application ID while filling up your profile. So this point is also for those candidates who are applying for the renewal scholarship. Next point is in case you have any issues, kindly mail that the help text with details of registered mobile number, previous year's application ID, your query and or any screenshot error message kindly allow us 24 hours to check and respond to your mails. So within 24 hours, they will check your mail and they will respond to your mail based on the query. So these are the steps which I've already mentioned. Also, there are a few informations which I want to highlight in this video that will be the frequently asked questions. And here are some few FAQs which you can see on the screen. Based on the FAQs, they have responded. So please make sure that you have gone through all the FAQs and then you proceed with the application. And that's all I want to share in this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.